So, hey guys, um, in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to paint this. Sort of like a, I guess, clownfish uh, Nemo type of deal. So yeah, without fur further ado, let's get started. Okay, I've already masked the lure and done the scales. And uh, I'm gonna start laying out some green on the, on the back side. And, uh, you can go and check out how I do the uh, 3D scales um, from my previous videos that I've done here on my channel. I'm probably going to add a link down below so that you can go and check that out. Then I'm just laying out some green here and uh, making sure that it uh, covers, um, covers the color pretty well. A little bit on the cheeks here. And the other side as well. I think I'm going to add a little bit on the sides as well. That, that should do it. So since I'm making a high contrast color here, I'm gonna start adding some pins on the sides. You know, just to make it look extra weird. You know, just for the sake of being weird, I guess. This is actually an opaque uh, pink that I've thinned uh, so that it doesn't really cover the scales that I did before. So that's a little bit on the cheeks as well. Just a little bit. Damn, an airbrush failure. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay. Let's give that a go again. You know, a little bit of details on the mouth as well. So I've chosen a neon yellow on the belly side and um, uh, there's not really much to say about this again. It's pretty much the same that I did before. So you know just um, lay down that yellow on there and uh, try to make it look uniform with the previous color that you painted. Let's add a little bit on the on the cheeks as well. Okay, now the dangerous stage where everything can go horribly wrong if you don't know what you're doing. So, what I've actually done here is I've spin the paint mixture um, so that it's almost like mist or, or almost like water actually. Um, so, like I mentioned in the previous video that I did, uh, where I was doing those pectoral things, um, I always um, let the mist sort of like um, take care of the paintwork for me. And like you can see here, I'm actually not painting on the on the sides, rather than I'm painting on the on the mask that I laid down for. This way it gives a um, nice misty effect and it doesn't um, end up looking too rough. And it, you know overall it makes the base look a little bit more cleaner. Yeah, 
and I'm pretty much done. Alrighty, I'm gonna start peeling off the masking tape. And you guys might be wondering what kind of uh, masking tape I'm using. This is actually uh, the cheapest kind of electric tape that I could find from the local hardware store. And uh, what I've done here is I've actually cut it in two millimeter strands and then used that to first uh, mask the outlines and then fill the middle parts. And the reason for that being is that when you have a thin strand, it's much more easier for having a contour that is a little bit of a um, curved nature, like on the middle bar, it's a little bit, it has a curve on it. So you don't end up having wrinkles on it when you have a thin strand of uh, electric tape. So that's a really good tip that I've actually learned from my workplace while working on boats. So yeah, I, I'm not gonna take everything off here, so just gonna show you guys a little bit of this. So I'm gonna start laying down the pectoral fins now and like before um, I have a very thin mixture of black um, then I just uh, move the stencil down and just sweep across the stencil and try not to make a mess <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this um, fairly quick uh, clownfish slash Nemo tutorial and, uh, I always um, appreciate the likes and of course new subscribers so be sure to click the like button and of course tell me what do you want me to paint next I'm always uh, open for new suggestions especially when I'm doing this for you guys so until next time I guess again